The needle threaders on the FOP sewing machines actually all work about the same, but I'm going to show you some tricks that will help you just in case you are having some difficulty. So threading the needle is now as easy as just pulling down the lever, but there is a small little hook that is shaped like this in the needle threader, and it is so small, number one, it has to fit through the eye of the needle. It can go through needles, for example, sizes 7 75 and larger. 75 sometimes gets a little iffy, and definitely if you have a size 70 needle or a size 10, whichever way you're used to reading your needle packages, but that needle eye gets so small that even the needle threader says no way. So one tip that I like to use is to lower the presser foot. When the foot is up, this thread pulls very easily through the machine. If you lower the presser foot, the thread should be tight, and that will help you kind of catch it around the guides that we're going to use. Next, make sure your needle is in the highest position. So if you take a tap of your foot control or touch your needle up down button, that needle will then be at the perfect location for the needle threader. If you are used to turning your hand wheel when you bring your needle up, I would advise not to because this needle is not in the correct position to use the needle threader and that little piece of metal can bend. So I'm gonna just um, take a stitch, bring that needle to the highest position, and next I'm gonna show you what we are looking for. When we bring this needle threader down, there is a little hook in here, and I watch people try to get their thumbs in here and, and so forth. Easiest thing, bring it down just halfway. Take your right hand, swoop underneath it, and bring it all the way down firmly. See how that last little bit twists that head around the needle. Next, take your thread and slide it in between kind of the two pieces of metal right here and lift up. So many people want to lift back, but remember the shape of that little needle threader uh, hook part? Uh, if you lift up and then gently let go of the thread so it can pull it through, it will pull a loop for you to pull through the needle. So here's how it looks. Down halfway, underneath, all the way down firmly, then in the little groove, lift up, not back, and let it pull out of your hand. Now, if you hold too tight over here, it can't pull it through. That makes sense. All right, so once the needle's threaded, I'm gonna lift up my presser foot, slide the thread underneath the foot, and you're ready to sew. If you do find that your needle threader has become bent, you can try to move it back into position if you can see it. Um, if you've broken it, your, your VOF retailer will need to assist in getting you a new needle threader. Um, if you've tried to use it with that needle at different locations, it probably has bent off to the side, and it doesn't matter how many times you do it the correct way, if it doesn't line up with the needle eye, it can't get a hold of the thread. So if you're doing everything right and it's still not catching, it probably needs a small adjustment.